as the portfolio allocation of the Modi 3.0 cabinet is finally done, the next thing to watch is who will be elected speaker of the Lok Sabha. Ever since the BJP, TDP, JDU and other ND allies have come together to form the government, there are reports that TDP and JDU both are pressing for the post of the speaker of the Lok Sabha. If reports are to be believed, then the question is why BJP's allies are desperate for the speaker's post. Let's find out. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha plays a vital role in the parliamentary democracy as he or she has several powers, such as conducting the House. The Speaker is the presiding officer of the House. It is he who decides how the House is conducted. For the functioning of the House, there are rules and regulations. It is the responsibility of the Speaker to ensure that the rules and procedures of the Lok Sabha are followed. Next is question and record. The Speaker decides whether a question a member raises is admissible. He also oversees the publication of the House proceedings. The Speaker also has the authority to remove the fully or partially remarks that are deemed unparliamentary. If the Speaker decides to delete them, critical comments against the ruling party may not be published. Another power of the Speaker is having voice votes when there are not enough members from the ruling party present in the House. The Speaker can ignore a request for a formal vote and pass a bill with just a voice vote. According to the rules of procedure and conduct of business in Lok Sabha, if the Speaker feels that a formal vote has been requested unnecessarily, he can simply ask the members who are in favour of the bill say aye and those who are against it say no to stand up in the places and decide. The Speaker opts for votes by division which is crucial for maintaining a historical record. It provides MPs with an opportunity to register dissent and reflect the views of their constituents. Next is casting vote. The Speaker rarely needs to break a tie but when there are equal number of votes, it is their job to cast the deciding vote. According to Article 100 of the Constitution, the Chairman of Rajya Sabha and Speaker of Lok Sabha or anyone acting in their place can't vote right away but can cast a tie-breaking vote if needed. Another power of the Speaker is disqualifying member. The 10th Schedule or Anti-Defection Law was introduced to the Constitution through the 52nd Amendment Act 1985. It gives the Speaker of the House the power to disqualify a member who defects to the party. As per the 1992 Supreme Court judgment, the Apex Court can only accept a petition against or for the disqualification of a member after the final order of the Speaker. Now, members can defect in large numbers, leading to the government's fall. In such scenarios, the Speaker's decision determines by the new government forms or by elections are held due to member disqualification. Hence, due to these powers, especially the power of disqualifying members, the TDP and the JDU are pressing for the post of Speaker which will help them save or fall the government in the future.